So, you know, I don't want to uh, imply or, or, or insinuate anything, but we discussed early in this conversation about the, the three-legged stool, uh, whereas the medical examiner, um, if you will, that it should be in partnership or is expected to be in partnership with the prosecution, which is also expected to be in, in, in partnership with the police. So when two medical examiners are, are coming up with very different findings and five days later, uh, uh, the boss um, determines that this was not homicide, it, it, is it is it... Is it me being far reaching to think that this could possibly be a case of the three-legged stool? Well, uh, sure. There's, you see, the problem is that all medical examiners, when we start out, work with police. They're the ones uh, who come down, give us information. We're, we're finding out, and I see the Tyree Nichols uh, investigation, that's what showed that what the police tell the medical examiners and what they file in the official uh, course of duty is often not correct. And the only reason we know with Tyree Nichols is because it became such a, a public uh, uh, issue as to how he died because of the, the one video that showed the poll video. Uh, and I think that, so that medical examiners, uh, and as I uh, learned, dealt often with police, often with the same prosecutors, the same police, uh, and we're all there to uh, uh, do justice, alleg allegedly. Uh, then you find out every now and then police give false information. Well, that's the bad apple kind of thing. But, but I think that um, part of the problem is, is that we wind up feeling that we're part, that some of our people, uh, part of the prosecution team. And that works more or less uh, well, in the normal course of business, we're all trying to find the same thing. But when our friends are, uh, are involved with possibly causing the death, uh, there's a bias there. And that's why we have to have some separate abilities to have oversight, a national database uh, with an oversight that everybody knows that it's going to be looked at by somebody outside, not just by internal investigation. And I think that uh, in itself automatically makes people uh, uh, more honest about their reports and uh, more uh, correct in their investigations when they know somebody else is going to be looking over it. And that would be one of the things that would happen if there's a national database where the results of the police investigations and the are uh, then uh, seen by another uh, by, by somebody else to make sure that we're learning as much as we can from each and that each uh, incident also is being handled in a proper manner what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you know anybody that can benefit from this message feel free to share peace and love make every move a power move I'll catch you all on the next video.